What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today the Mega Overview is going to be for Mega Salamence. Now I kind of wanted to go ahead and get Mega Salamence out of the way. I guess it was announced a lot later, but I do anticipate it being banned into Ubers relatively quickly because of how powerful it is. So while we wait for that ban, I just figured giving uh, people a few ways of dealing with it might be helpful. Now, of course, Mega Salamence keeps this dragon flying typing, but it gains the ability Aerialate. Before this, Pinsir was the only Pokemon that had Aerialate. And similar to Refrigerate, her Aerialate turns all normal moves into flying type moves. And of course, gives them that 30% power boost, just like a Life Orb. Uh, now, Mega Salamence gets some impressive stat boosts. Uh, he is quite bulky um, with 130 defense and 90 special defense. And then he is also insanely powerful with 145 attack and 120 special attack. He does get a slight bump in speed as well, putting him just above all those really, really uh, popular base 110 Pokemon and a few base 115 Pokemon at 120. Now, what does this mean as far as your team goes? Mega Salamence, of course, is going to be just as versatile as Salamence was. If for those of you who played Pokemon competitively back in fourth gen, Salamence was banned in a Ubers in Fortune, mainly because how unpredictable it was. Uh, you would have to do a lot of work to figure out its set, and by the time you figured out the set, it may have already set up or taken out a couple of your Pokemon. And so we're going to run into those same issues with Mega Salamence. I do think that the most popular set is probably going to be a Dragon Dance Sweeper. It'll probably run uh, a normal type attack to get boosted by the Aerial 8, maybe Return, Double Edge, uh, something like that and then maybe just a coverage move like Earthquake or Fire Blast, and then Substitute or something like that. Those are going to be the, probably the most popular things that you see. Uh, Salamence is able to force switches very, very easily, and being able to Mega Up and Dragon Dance on the switch can spell good game for most matches depending on what you have left. Now, some of the other sets that are probably going to be less common but I think will probably be more effective are going to be a mixed set. Hyper Voice, of course, can go through substitutes, will still get the area late boost, and is being fired off of a great 120 base special attack. Using that alongside something like Fire Blast or Hydro Pump for coverage allows for almost perfect coverage against anything that's going to switch into Salamence. For example, Ferrothorn can switch easily into Hyper Voice. Uh, well, not easily. It can probably be 3 hit KO'd by Hyper Voice if it's a special defensive set. But it also has a contend with Fire Blast. Um, something like Chansey or uh, to a lesser extent Rhyperior can deal with uh, Rhyperior can deal with Hyper Voice, but it can't deal with Hydro Pump. And then Blissey, of course, can deal with the special type moves like Fire Blast. But it is 3 hit KO'd by Hyper Voice. So it, we, we run into figuring out what the proper way to counter it is. Of course, it is also good to be prudent that Facade and Double Edge might be used. Double Edge, of course, has that nasty recoil effect. But when you're using a move that powerful, some things that would be two or three hit KOs, such as from Return, for example, turn into two hit KOs, that is a very, very, very big deal. Because now it doesn't matter that it's taking all the recoil damage. It just took out one of your Pokemon and now it can roost the HP back or get a Wish Pass. Um, Facade, of course, Priority Burn is still very popular, and Facade allows it to bypass that burn. Although I do think that something like Substitute will be used more so than Facade, because why take the residual burn damage where you can just um, outright dodge the burn. And uh, finally, uh, a set that I think will be popular, of course, is going to be a bulkier Salamence set, using utilizing Roost to get back the HP while building up a lot of boost over time. Uh, I just think we're going to see that because regular Salamence gets Intimidate, allowing it to have opportunities to switch in. And then, of course, it gets such a gigantic defensive boost, um, it's not going to want to switch into Stealth Rocks a lot. So better to stay in and be able to take hits and set up and to switch in and out a lot. Now, of course, the most prevalent counter to Mega Salamence is Ice Shard. Uh, Mamoswine and Weavile are probably going to get very, very, very popular as we move into the Oros metagame which is why something that has a strong fighting type moves for priority, such as Infernape, uh, or to a lesser extent Lucario with Vacuum Wave, is going to be a good partner for Mega Salamence. Now, if the Salamence is just a regular physical offensive set with only contact moves, 
then something like Rocky Helmet for Rothorn is going to be a fantastic switch in because it'll take so much damage just because it touches you. Kind of the same mentality that we use to counter Mega Kangashkan early on. Of course, some physical walls that are notable to mention are going to be Chansey and Clefable. I really like Clefable here because not only is it immune to the unlikely Dragon-type move, uh, if it's trying to use Draco Meteor or something like that, that'll, that might be more popular, but also Clefable can have access to Unaware, which means that the boost that it accrues will not matter. Um, and of course, Chansey gets access to a nice counter attack, and it is so bulky that uh, I think it can survive a plus two double edge depending on your investment. Um, but of course, Chansey's physical defense is so low that eh, it's neither here nor there whether you want to really throw it in there in that opportunity. And of course, on the offensive side, offensive checks are going to be things that outspeed or can, at the very least, revenge kill it. Any fast Scarfers, I really like Talonflame and Greninja here. Talonflame is my go-to counter for so many of these Mega Pokemon that it is powerful because it will just outspeed them with uh, the Gale Wings boosted Brave Bird that allows Brave Bird to have priority. Greninja gets a special mention here because it is still faster than Mega Salamence without any boost. Uh, Greninja has base 123 speed, I believe, and it can use Ice Beam to take out just about any Mega Salamence set. Now, it is important that to mention that uh, Scarf Greninja is becoming more popular so that even if your Salamence does get a boost, it will still be slower than a Scarf Greninja. So, good to keep those things in mind. Kind of in the same, um, to a lesser extent, Noivern has that uh, checking role if you can scarf it afterwards. It does not want hit KO with Dragon Pulse. Uh, I think Draco Meteor has a chance to hit KO, but it won't want hit KO the bulk of your set. So, good to keep and keep that in mind there. And it's going to be easier to get Mega Salamence onto the field using um, uh, moves that maintain some momentum for you. So, some Volturn. Assistance there, Rotom Wash, Landorus, or Greninja can also learn U-Turn. Uh, if you're worried about those burns, using a Cleric is recommended, uh, especially if you're using Chansey. Uh, might as well throw Heal Bell on there to give Salamence a few more opportunities to switch in. So uh, if you're looking at other Mood Tutor opportunities there, I've already mentioned Hyper Voice. Aqua Tail, if you need a physical water type move, of course he does. He can be bred Hydro Pump right now. So that'll probably carry over. And if you're really worried about fairies, it does get Iron Tail and also Zen Headbutt for poison types, which are more popular. But I don't like either of those options just because of their accuracy. So it may be better to put those options on other members of your team who can afford to miss. Because Salamence can't really afford to miss because if he misses, it's probably against something that can take him out. So let me know what you guys think about Mega Salamence. And uh, how quickly do you all think that he will be banned? I foresee him being banned within a month, give or take three weeks, of uh, the Auras metagame starting to shape up. But in the meantime, we will have to contend with him. So here, I hope that this was video was a little bit useful and giving you a few ways to, to work around him. Now, I will talk to you all later, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.